Hello everyone, well, I'm Raza and welcome back to the Power Rangers Dino Supercharge Vlog. Hey. I'm sorry, the title's still gonna annoy me no matter what. Today's episode was Riches to Rags. Sorry, it's usually Rags to Riches. But this is kind of weird. And also it requires talking about a coin, which I'm holding right now. Well, the episode is simple enough to explain. This is all Ivan's time. I mean, well, yeah, this is an Ivan episode. For what happened was an accidental goof up with the whole, with him ordering a dummy to train with. And he got himself a dummy with a suit on. And he just starts slashing at it like a crazy, um, like he's training. And when the real dummy shows up, Kendall's like, so Ivan, have you seen the clothing we need to show off to the museum? I'm going to show to the museum. She sees it. And freaks out of how ripped it is. We soon discover that this suit was with Thorn of Time of the ancient, I mean, of the knights and royalty, even older than Ivan, so that's something. And it belongs to a greedy man who says that they owe $2 million for the suit. And they are going to tear apart the museum for it. During the same time, ironically dealing with money. Heckle, Fury, and Singe create a monster fusion. Basically, they use the treasure monster from True Black and the Magician Crow monster from Breaking Black. Kind of seeing a little bit of a running trend with these two episodes. But they both have episodes with Black. And they fuse them together, which... In the Japanese version, it would make sense since they're all just monsters created by a bigger monster. It's more of he just created it like a little bit of a Play-Doh thingy. But these were actually two aliens that were captured, killed, and then they decided to fuse the two together, making some monster that I'm surprised it didn't scream, KILL ME! KILL ME! I'm just questioning the integrity of what they're doing. And it's... Goal, its power is basically turn anyone who touches its coins into greedy people. Okay. I can understand where the gold monster's power comes from with the gold coins, and the magician, he just turned the coin into greed to make people greedy. And Heckle starts tossing out coins to everyone. I'm thinking, so how's this going to affect the rangers if they don't touch the coins? We learn what happened. One of the people who touched the coin... Basically just tossed the coins, well, bought some food at the museum. She hands some of the coin, well, the coins he didn't want to actually truly spend to them since he was complaining about the prices of food. And Chase and Tyler picks up the coins, getting infected. And they are now going money crazy, but somehow they're still able to think properly to fight. Okay, so at least they have something to it. During this time, Ivan's trying to find ways to pay back the $2 million dollars. We get a stupid joke at the bank, and yeah, you know the situation. He goes in and tries to withdraw some money. He says he does have money, a gold bar, which is kind of okay. And he pulls out a sword to try to at least explain, I meant to explain, or I, I don't want to remember. All I know is security was going to be involved if he would have not put the sword away. But at least Ivan has some pride. When he did see the gold coins, he didn't want to take it because they're monster coins. So he has pride. That's the only way he wasn't infected. Actually, nobody else was infected except Chase and Tyler. These two were basically just spending the whole time, like, finding gold, hunting down Spelldigger, the monster's name. And they even found where he had a treasure trove at. I'm thinking, this monster has a treasure trove? He just been created. How did he get a treasure trove? What, did part of him... Who was the treasure monster? Had money? And I'm at the treasure, and he was like, I, I remember I have treasure. Which leads to more questions. Like, where did he get the treasure from when he was captured and put in a cell? Sorry, sorry, I'm just thinking too much. We get those two acting all goofy. And leading, I mean, Ivan, and Ch I mean, not Ivan, Tyler and Chase being all goofy like, wanting more of the money and even fighting with each other for gold for just a single gold coin and for one thing I question 
the T-Rex Zord can morph into a mini and help, I mean, and basically told Ivan, follow, I mean, that way. I think, I'm trying to remember what was Ivan. All I know is that the T-Rex Zord can somehow shrink, come up, do the, no, do that. They need help! I mean, Ivan needs help! Oh, my mistake, it, the Rex, T-Rex Zord followed Chase. Tyler and told him that Ivan needs help. Sorry. Just so much was going on in the questioning of the logic. And I'm, I give Ivan credit throughout the whole time he was trying to find a way to get make back the $2 million. Even to the point where he was going to be, wants to be a server for the guy and he refused because his assistant is more of a fighter. And the style of a cat using claws like that. Cat not the cat. I'm not gonna question. Well, and Kendall is trying to like think of ideas of what to sell at the museum to pay off the fine, which I kind of like that. They're at least they're trying to help with the responsibility of what I've been doing. As soon as they see Tyler and Chase showing up with the gold coins, getting all attacking each other for when a few coins drop, Kendall's smart enough to say, "Don't touch it, any of you." She picks it up with a. I mean, with some gripper thing, so she ain't getting affected, and examines it. So it's like, okay, so that's kind of smart. And they think of, if we kill the monster, we get the gold coins to stay here, and we can just use it to basically pay off the debt. Which, kind of smart, in a cruel, evil way, but still smart. So they decided, Tyler, Chase, go after, find the treasure trove, and give us the money. I mean, and we need to get the money. They just basically became nothing but dogs. They went off looking, and this is the part where I broke through again with questioning. How did Shelby know his name was Spell Digger? He never once throughout the whole time said his name. The only ones who actually said his name was Heckle Fury, and they never even said it to the Rangers. I'm just questioning that logic. I never, I didn't catch that. We get the battle, and we learn that Spell Digger has a unique power. Basically, anyone that shoots attacks at him, he basically opens up his chest plate and goes. It takes the power. Basically, he doesn't use it for himself. He just takes it. Basically, they can't shoot him to the point where he's even doing suction. And yet, Tyler armored up with the hammer and drill and beats him, destroying him. They're like, he's gone. The coins don't have any effect on him. Tyler and Chase are cured and. Then the coins vanish. I was like, what did you expect going to happen? He was basically existing as long as the coins existed. You know what I mean. Sorry. We get the giant monster thing. We get the zords. Fuses. Just, and basically one shot. This does that final killing. We soon also learn that Singe is a little bit working for someone. Well, not little. Working with someone else. So there is somebody behind the scenes doing a bigger idea of what he wants to do with the Energems. And Fury is knows about it. He's trying to find a way to get Singe out in the light so Heckle would kill him. So I'm questioning Fury's allegiance. Also, since he sided with Sledge and they just sided with Heckle, he can't think for himself. <laughs> Sorry. At the museum, they're all ready to accept the fate that they can't pay off the debt. And Prince Philip shows up. Saving money, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. Don't he have money? And no, actually, he was stating the truth that Ivan did have gold, that which is in the account of Xandor, and due to interest, it accumulated to $2 million. Philip gave Ivan the money. I'm at the check, taking the money. Ivan was giving the guy the check, and the guy just said, why don't you just keep the money, I keep the museum there, you're still rich. And Ivan just says, the honesty of how he is raised, I mean, how he is trained, that he sees the reward of doing the goodness for the museum for everyone. Which then led to, because of that good lesson Ivan stated to the guy, they had a massive passing the check back to the other. Saying, the guy wants to give back the check to Ivan out of the goodness of his heart. Ivan saying, no, he must do his night thing. They're do, just keep tossing, putting it in the other one's, like, coats, pockets. Hat to the point where the guy just hands it to his assistant saying, Just give Ivan the check, and Ivan's running away like a coward because 
crazy cat woman with a check in her mouth. I'm kind of a little, I'll be running away scared too. <laughs> like I said, this episode was kind of questioning the logic, questioning the ness of like fusing two monsters together for me, more focusing on pulling out the plot detail of how did Shelby know the monster's name. And I do give credit that Ivan was basically doing a good character. He's actually now moving up on my ranks of my favorite characters. Since he, due to his knight's dignity, he would not accept the monster's money, which, because of his pride, was the only way he could get, get infected. But he, didn't anyone teach him anything about the world around him? For Lord's sakes. No one taught him about the bank system. No one taught him. He even was surprised when he signed of clip the electronic clipboard with his finger. So what? No one ever taught him anything during that whole time he was out? How, what's the time period going on throughout this series? Like I said, the episode was a little bit scattered. I was trying to question the plot holes and all that, but I did kind of like it in a way. I've been shown to be a good character for his deeds that he was trying to, re be, um, you know, trying to fix. And that's really all I can say. Leave any comments you would like to say, and also questioning, is it okay for using aliens to make a new monster to do all that stuff? Till then, Rasa signing out.